Moving on from there, the Washington Huskies. And, man, uh, Jimmy Lake, again, another first-year head coach that, um, I mean, it was just a bad year to be a first-year, first-time head coach, period. Even if you're taking over a program that you've been with forever. So, they went 3-1 and one last year. Looked pretty good in the process, too. Yeah, they look Not pretty bad. good. They're, they're, they're a good football team. 8-5 um, in, uh, in Chris Peterson's last season in 2019. Uh, their conference odds, plus 300, second uh, behind Oregon to win the division. Second, plus 115, right behind Oregon again. Their win total is 9, plus 105 to go over, minus 135 to go under. And, you know, I, I like a lot of these overs here. They they are expected to be favored in every game sans Oregon. That's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy to think about. Like, favored at Michigan, uh, favored at, uh, or sorry, uh, my word, I'm, I'm looking at it now, I'm thinking about it, uh, at Colorado, at Stanford, at Arizona, at Oregon State, at Michigan. That's their road schedule. That's not brutal at all. They got Cal, they got UCLA, Oregon, Arizona State, and Washington State at home. They got, all right, look, 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 let's discuss this. Let's talk about this. They did lose the defense coordinator, right? Yep. Um, a Pete Katkowski, I believe is the guy's name. I, I cannot. Sounds, sounds. I don't remember how to. Close to what I would say. There you go. So he, I'm not going to try to say it. He's off to Austin. He's part of Steve Sarkeesian's new staff, right? And everybody believes, like, yes, that is fantastic. But this was Jimmy Lake's defense, right? Like, this, he was the DC for a long time. Um, there's a reason why he got this job after Chris Peterson. Chris Peterson wanted him to have it. Uh, now, rather than go in and bring somebody that doesn't know what's going on, they. They hire or bring up longtime assistant Bob Gregory to keep running the same damn thing on defense. I think defense is going to be fine. Offense was painfully predictable last year. Uh, 25th in success rate, which was good. But John Donovan, who got fired at Penn State back in 2015, like John Donovan is going to John Donovan. That's what he does. He's incredibly predictable, but he's incredibly efficient. He runs a ton on standard downs, like you would expect. Like it, everything that you expect. Like first down, we're going to run the ball, and then on second and seven, we're going to throw the ball, and then when we get to like third and two, we're going to run the ball. Like it, it's everything that you would expect an old school Smash Mouth coach to do, and yet they were still pretty efficient. So while he's frustrating, they got a bunch of dudes back. This should be the best version of his offense that we've seen. I I'm going to go over the nine. At plus 105. I like the plus odds here. If they're favored in every game but one, I think they can easily get to 10, and they might even get to 11. Like, if they can win at Michigan, there's a chance they could beat everybody but Oregon. There's a chance. I'm going to go under. <laughs> I think this team is is overrated. I think they are projected to be that good now. I think by week six, they won't be favored in all those games behind them. Ah. Okay, look, here's here's the first however many. Montana at Michigan, Arkansas State, California at Oregon State, and then a bye. Mm-hmm. And then they play at Arizona and at Stanford before they play Oregon. Like, there's a chance they could be undefeated going into Oregon. They play UCLA before that Arizona game. Oh, yeah, 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 UCLA. Yeah, okay, so they could lose. Eh. I'm going to go over the nine. That's fine. We'll disagree on this. We'll go under. <laughs> I, these, these where the coach is not super experienced, very difficult for me and you to be able to agree on these things yeah. because it's it's just whatever you want to buy. Like, That's do right. you buy what he's selling? I, I think Chris Peterson was a genius, and if they don't fall off at all after losing a bona fide top ten coach in, in college football – then he was never a top ten coach in college football. That is one way to look at this. That and is one I way think to look he at it. was, and therefore, this is the first real true year without him. It's a valid point. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything dot com or Chris at winningcureseverything dot com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.